Speaking of the voice, the, the last day of the Parliamentary Select Committee hearings into the voice legislation was in Canberra today. Now, stupidly, this committee, which is dominated by Labor, Labor have the numbers, they refused to take evidence from former Prime Minister Tony Abbott. I mean, why they would do that is beyond belief, but they eventually they were embarrassed by him into allowing him to turn up. Here's some of what he had to say. The last thing we want is uh, a referendum proposal that fails. Um, that would leave Australians embittered and divided. But I suspect that if this succeeds, it will likely also leave us embittered and divided because of the process which has got us to this point. Tony Abbott there, uh, Katie. Look, uh, I don't agree with uh, Tony's position on this. We uh, talk about it... We have spoken about it uh, uh, directly a number of mm. times, but of course he's a key spokesperson yep. for the no case. Of course, as a former Prime Minister, he should be there. The idea that they'd try and silence him, or just send us the written, the, the written submission, that's pathetic. Again, it makes you worry about the people who are trying to deliver this, uh, this yes case. Well, at the end of the day, you know, the latest polling that came out, I think it was yesterday, there's 51% that are saying that they would vote yes at this point in time. There's 15%, as I understand it, who are undecided, 34% um, that are a no. So you've got 15% of Australia, at the very least, you know, no matter what you think of these numbers, that are undecided. So wouldn't you do your best to make sure that everybody has as much information as possible yep. so that they can actually make an educated vote? And I think you're not always going to agree with everybody, but is isn't that what we love about Australia, is that you're actually able to have that debate and that should be able to happen. He should be able to get in there and have his perspective and point of view put across and then people can make up their own minds. Yeah, look, it's the AFL stuff as well and it's this. It's the, people, the yes case seem to think that nobody's entitled to any other point of view. That's dangerous. And I say this, as you know, as yeah. a supporter, but you've got to understand there's a good debate to be had. Yeah. Let's have it. And I love, I love th this idea, again, this sort of moral bullying that's... Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Unfortunately. And again, I'm sorry, I, I just want to point it back to the Prime Minister. The Prime Minister put this on the table. The Prime Minister is inviting... Well, he should have invited Australians into a conversation... Yes. ..that was free from this, as I said, moral bullying, moral posturing. I suspect there's a great deal of difference between what people on the street think and how we talk about the voice. And I know that from my own conversations with friends and clients. There is an openness to the concept. But I tell you what, the door is shut to being told by the likes of corporate Australia. Yes, the AFL, indeed. I mean, the AFL is an embarrassment as an organisation. You know, it really is. I, you know, go Collingwood, but the rest of them can go, go get in the bin. That hurts. I that know, hurts on a day like this. But, uh, but yeah, get your umpiring right. Don't tell the nation <laughs> how, to, uh, how, to, how to run itself. But he will be on the Prime Minister if this fails. Mm. Mm. Uh, you know, I, I fear that it's become so partisan now that Tony Abbott is right in that the, uh, he oh, says it'll be bad if it, if it wins. The nation will be very divided. And if it loses, certainly they'll be, they'll be very divided. So the it's optics of saying, we don't want to hear from you. Yeah, it's incredible, yeah. Like, if you want to take people on a journey, you have to be prepared to listen. Wasn't it Keating who said about the GST, if mm. you don't understand it, don't vote for it? Yeah. I mean... Yeah. You've got to explain it. People have got... I believe people have got open hearts. Yeah. They um, don't want to be lectured to or bullied. No, we don't... No-one needs to be lectured to. Mm. Absolutely right. Now, um, unfortunately, we've got no time to share the latest bit from Joe Biden, but we're talking about priorities. Uh, <laughs> while, while he's got proper issues to deal with, he's off with the, the press gallery, the White House correspondents yucking it up. But we'll save that for next time.